The Great Northern Arts Festival offers the public and the artists uh, a wonderful opportunity. Uh, it, this festival has a wonderful spirit, a wonderful life, and people when they're here they're just smiling and full of energy and it, and it has to do with the artists and the warmth of the people in the north. The Art Fest is uh, when people get together, they exchange ideas and they go to the seminars. Great Northern Arts Festival July Norman, 1989, me. It was in the IRC building, the new Vialwit Regional Corporation building on Main Street. And at that time, um, there, were, there was no um, uh, stores or businesses on the main floor. Um, so we had the whole main floor. From the IDC building, it moved to the old family hall, which is uh, VNS Options now. Then after that, it moved to the Sam School there for a few years, then that got too small, then we moved up here. Then it has more room, it, it accommodates us better because we can use the upstairs conference room for seminars and that for the artists there. So, what did you think of it so now you look at it in Well, in 1988, uh, I was working at a gallery here in Inuvik, and Sue was a customer of mine, and she used to come in a lot, and we talked about um, some possible exhibits that we could have and um, she, she suggested having an exhibit for three Holman printmakers. Um, so we had an exhibition for them and we couldn't afford to bring the three of them to the exhibit but uh, one of them just so happened to be in town and we started talking about um, the fact that a lot of northern artists have their work exhibited um, in lots of places and don't always get to attend the exhibits and also that artists in the north quite often work in isolation. Um, there may be only two artists in their community. Um, so they don't get exposed to other artists and uh, they don't have the opportunity to take art workshops and so on. So at the time we decided, after we had this initial exhibit, we decided that in the next year we would have an exhibition for seven or eight artists in, this, in the Beaufort Delta region. And we went to um, economic, at the time it was economic development and it's now RWED. We went to RWED to request funding to help us with this regional exhibit. And the only pot of money they had at the time was the, I'm not sure if I remember the name of it, but it was a, a, a territorial federal agreement. And if we had, if we accessed that funding, we had to ensure that there was representation from across the Northwest Territories. And at that time, none of it was still part of the Northwest Territories. We very quickly pulled together the very first festival and we had 30 artists and we invited artists from right across the north. And, um, and very, at some point the word festival came up and once the word came up, all the ideas started to flow and we... Nakin Piviung Atinga Great Northern Arts Festival. I think we were just kind of throwing some ideas around and we knew that we wanted northern in there so that the you know visitors and tourists would understand that it's in the north and we were just kind of kidding and said well we know it's going to be great so we called it the Great Northern Arts Festival. I would say it's between Bill Nasagalawak and Joe Nasagalawak. Um, I know that they both came in I was working at a gallery here in Inuvik and uh, they heard that we were talking about this festival and they came in to the gallery and asked if they could be a part of it and at that time um, they were, I would say that they were emerging artists, beginner artists. They both um, had been carving for quite a while but they both were working on very small works. Bill had just started painting and uh, yeah they came in and said can we be a part of it and we were thrilled so. <laughs> The Great Northern Arts Festival offers the public and the artists uh, a wonderful opportunity. Um, <clears throat> we gather about 100 and, up to 120 visual and performing artists together for 10 days 
and it offers the public a chance to see them all in one location, uh, which is a very rare opportunity because uh, with all the artists live in, live in remote communities and just that chance just doesn't exist. It gives uh, the public an opportunity to be a part of the creative process and to learn how different um, art is made. And once people know more about artwork and the process behind it, then they, it, they are more excited about buying it. And, um, and also, it's really nice to be able to meet the artist that creates, creates the work. So um, for the public, it's, it's education and it's given them a greater appreci appreciation of Northern art. Also for the artist, it offers them a chance to, to work with other artists from other communities, learn new techniques, um, and collaborate on artistic projects and basically just a, a wonderful chance to learn and have their work exhibited in a professional gallery setting for the public to see. Um, that's again another unique opportunity for them in that they don't, they don't get to see how the public in the South reacts to their work or how it's displayed. So we try and provide that here so they, they know what that experience is all about. To me, the art fest is uh, when people get together, they exchange ideas and they go to the seminars on how they can get funding from different sources for the tools, which is, which is good for the artists to go through the seminars. There. And for me, myself, it's just like a big family reunion. And being the host, we have to do the setup. And then they come here and they decorate the whole walls and the pedestals and everything with all the fine, fine work that they do. So every year our families, our families seem to get bigger and bigger and bigger. We add new people to the family just like. It's an opportunity to fuel their creative energy. Um, once again, artists in the North work you know, in isolation compared to artists in the South. They live in small communities and there may be only a few other artists there. And it, in most, um, it, uh, there's sort of trends in communities, like a lot of the women in Holman do printmaking uh, in a certain style, like stencil printmaking. So when they come here, they get to learn a new type of printmaking, um, whether it be etching or uh, lino cut. Um, uh, to talk about artists uh, in this region, in the Western Arctic, when we started the festival, there were very few people doing artwork. And now the, the arts have really grown in the Western Arctic, and the artists have become recognized um, nationally, internationally for their work. And to have to work over a long winter, it gives them lots of ideas and, and creativity. <laughs> We have a, a wide range of, of emerging uh, artists as well as artists that are in their mid-career and some masters as well. We have artists from Nunavut, uh, the Yukon, and of course the Northwest Territories, and they, they work in various mediums, uh, soapstone, uh, other stones, um, painting, fiber arts, we have some fashion, and we have a lot of uh, traditional arts as well. <laughs> Nutaraglunga, 
tingil ra ati ginit tuk tuni kami ginit kami ginit tuk tuni tuk tuni yung ginit aglat kia ling ginit ugyung ginit waterproof kami ginit natsang ginit atungaling ginit aglat imasining makuwit tawal kami imasining makomal ng migama Tuwa katika inutil luguhuli, may kukpalak ito nga. Ano, hungaw yaling niglo magkuningan, makuwit to kalwa me. Aglad, magkwad, may kwakilak tat ka hungaw yalo, imati niglo. Kupalit, abba nito may kwad ka. Uming mangwa niglo. At magkuning nga. Setapak saya mayuning, tamak kuning aku nigel kang mekok tu nak kang ma, ana hun hun ilo kaita mekok sugit, ana huli agak sugit, ati sugit tuk tuk ati git, ana hul dekak tam mekulayat kang ma, ay mayangang ma, ana ina hapeng hapeng nelaning mekuang ma. Nah, ikan yuk tekan awalnya, ihi mau waktu nga ken nga hungalone, ikan yuk tekan awalnya. Tapi masih mereka kelugu tapi nak mereka ikut dia tu, ihi mungkin ya mak ina kelugu asih tapi nak mereka pergi kami, ihi mungkin atau tak kelugu huli yang anga mak atau tak kelugu ihi mungkin habuk pergi, nah mereka kahang anga tapi tapi nak inu waktu nga. Ano, iyo mag-atok ka na gumit habay wito ng iyo malayo ka na ng kung mag mau ng aglat at ikslung niglo kopang nagtalba habang nang nakaw yung at ikslung nut kopang nang imati niglo anat trang nang talba Hungau yang hungau yang ling niglo aku natu ilik teng nak mekong nak atau ngaling nih telba hapang nang nak kau telba hibur lepang mekai gama hamania sekusta teng mata at pista pulubunga ana hibur lepak peng mekai bayunga telba kanok pinyak tila kana lugulugo huna liok peng mangangit ana lugulugit telba Naga yuting wangin nang ni uming mangnik, nacing wani uping wani ay katinik. Talba kami ni ayong na ito na kakajib lunga talba si tata si mayong dalublugin ni masilip ko. Talba mani na awlang awlang ni ang matahibul lang mi ikak ikayok tigi magkakahuli mani malugog ang nakabuktuk huli na aperit dablu kanok pinyak dilam ni. Ano na lublong ako nung pibang mga ngita huli mani malukuli ang naghabog tung kama iya ina ukiung ni malung ni ilihaw tigalwa katka ano awlang ni gin nakluti gilangit ang nibiyak sa kat ano ina lumekong nang mik hungaw yan iglo kano lekang mekong nang mik ilangit ililakhen na kudit talba Magkuat habak tita sa pamil at magkuat manikak tukun at habak tita talba inakutik manikak tungo maning migo kay tilay kan nga na kano ka hay kano ka hay tunga at day magkuami day mangit kaluwak tunga kano ka hay tunga Stapek tu nga, anak anak ayu ma, ana aku pilungan yuk kagalunga, aku pilungan yakai sekagalunga, ana ukur ungit tu ning itai kani ay mabim ni, mekong nang mayunga, mau ukur ungit tu ning ukur uwani nang mekong tetka, kanu kayuit tu, ana itu yang awal kayuit tong tay na awlak tangan ngama imay tu ning Aiga ngamakanok kanuyutun, 
Uterupta takun nang niaktoani 2004 Great Northern Arts Festival katimam mata uvani inuving mi. O kakatigi niari wot Freddy Trumbull inuvelu yok sa naoyaliokti. Inuviaktoat ilisimayat sa nangit alianaim mata. Nuna alia naigi blugo it kari vagat sa nawya liuramik. Uvani nuna pting ni ilisima yangit taku yangit lu nuna mi malik pagat sa nagamik. Uvap tak taku naglugit sa nawya liangit tajwani 2004 ukiungani katimam mata inuving mi. Makuning nga uming mga liu kung abani taku bagin. Tuk tu niglo, I mean, na uming mangwa niglo, tuk tu niglo niyong hindi kami ni, tuk tu niglo ah, aming hindi katigil yok lunga, kung niglo kang mekopak tunga anything. E maatun ito galaw na na unakolya o taka ingilrat tamani, madahapat pa kini ita ingilrat, madahapat pa kini. Pekangit tu, amau cini kisah ni kan noga kak tu, ada ngaji untuk kang matungit tu, ini lah. Doing a show like the festival gives me a chance to play a lot more in in the pieces that I do. I've gotten the most recognition for my muskox. Doing that, everybody's looking for a muskox. Where a show like this, where I just can do what I want, I do a piece like the hunter and kayak, or just just trying the canoes for the first time, just to see what reaction people give it. The biggest challenge now is making new contacts. And the carving business itself is always up and down. There's, uh, and it, stuff that's not even around me. I deal with the gallery in New York, and when 9-11 uh, happened, carvings to New York just dropped right off to nothing. And it's only been in the oh, two and a half years before they've started ordering muskoxes and other pieces of mine again. So something like that halfway around the world affects me. I deal with a bunch of galleries in, in Ontario. And with that SARS business last year, it dropped right off again. So the carving is always up and down. I like making people, uh, some dancers, hunters. This one was shaped something like this, so I made it into a drum dancer. <laughs> There's not really a challenge. It's, uh, you know, I've been doing this for since 1991. Huh? 
But when I first started, I used to have a hard time with it. And I was uh, kind of mad, because I couldn't learn it. But I learned by watching it, always watch. And I thought I just told myself I'm going to learn it. That's who I am now. My name is I got that. I had experience from my, my mom and and myself. I I do I spinning muskox wool and I saw some muskox and I I make some cut out some moose hide for beading and I make horns. I do all that stuff when I'm here. Katimat Karmata Ublumunaglan Aglipsakpa Asu Ilori Bajung Katima Vingit. It's in its sixteenth year and it's better every year and I'm very proud of of um, the festival and I'm I'm thrilled that it has has stuck to it continues to fulfill its original mandate and that is to foster the growth of artists in the north and I think it does a great job of that. Inuvelu Alatlu Inuit Katit Paktoat Ayang Norman Inuving Mun. So min the Kanuna min Kai Blutik, Ikayri Klutik Ilisariak Slutiglu, Inuak Tonic Sanaya Liang in Nik Takuyoni, Ukakatigi Blugitlu, Sanaya Liuktoat, Angalachi Yingitlu, Ilama Yot two thousand and four Great Northern Arts Festival Katima Vianun. Takurupsi Ayat Kigo Kuvianung Nearlock Tok. Great Northern Arts Festival, Katit Kikpata, 2005 Ngokpan, Inuving Me. Atara Beverly Amos, Tamaptamik, Tagunnak Tusi. I'd like to thank the artists, because uh, without the artists, this festival, uh, it, this festival has a wonderful spirit, a wonderful life, and people, when they're here, they're just smiling and full of energy, and it, and it has to do with the artists and the warmth of the people in the North. And, and the willingness to share. It's, it's a very northern festival. It's a great northern arts festival.